Where am I? Hey there. Whoa, who are you? In March Deck, don't you remember? No. Well, allow to introduce myself. In March Deck and MW. Oh, you're from Number Experience, aka The Joke Show. Ah! Oof! Oh, jeez. Oh, my. Where am I? I didn't know where we are, but look up. Oh, my goodness, I have no top. In March Deck, and this is Ed. Ed and Dutch Deck. Those are nice ends. And if you want, you can intro those to the viewers. Hello, I'm in and 10, and I got 10 blocks. Hello? Is anyone on this island? What in the world was that? Wait, I think someone needs some help. Let's help them. Hey there. Why are you so sad? I don't have any friends. Well, that stinks. BTW, if you are wondering who we are, NN10 will tell you. Well, NN10, this is that and I'm stuck. Who are you? I am Louis, and I got five blocks. Louis, who? So now we met on these. What are you going to do, guys? Hmm. We never explore more numbers. Come on, guys. Let's explore some more. Yeah. yeah! Wow. A cave. Let's go explore in there. It might be a scary place, but I found something. 8. Do you know why we count up to 10? No. Well... The main reason why we count to 10 is because humans have 10 fingers. 5 on each of their two hands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See, 10 numbers, 10 fingers. Let me show you all why we count in base 10 in a few different ways. First half, the number table. Let's do 1987 for example. Do you see anything that relates to this number? All right, let's split it into its units. This number is made up of 1,000, 900s, 8 tens, and 7 ones. See, let's see this in block form, shall we? As you can see, this number is 1,000, 900s, 8 tens, and 7 ones. Let me carry on with the first method. Do you notice anything with this table? Correct. The number multiplies by 10 each time it goes left one column. Because it multiplies by 10 each time, we call this system base 10. As Dan said, Humans count with base 10 out of all bases because they have 10 fingers. 5 on 2 hands. But what if humans had 8 fingers? Things will change a lot. As you can see, cartoon characters, like Mickey Mouse, have 4 fingers on each hand. We call this base 8, or octal. Oh wow! Looks like I am no longer octoblock. But I am still called 8. So yeah. This base has 8 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Let's count an octal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Do you want to see another base? Then come to my beautiful computer. This phone seems to be quite interesting. Oh, hello. I am number block 2. I am the same in octal than in decimal. I am the third out of eight digits in octal. But what if there were only two digits? Let's think of it this way. Wait, what's happening? Strange. Looks like I have become one with the tens. Since I am no longer two, I will have to say that binary is the base for data. Like this phone. So. There are only two digits in binary. 
zero and one. See, two digits, two thumbs. I wear one zero shoes. One zero is my number. In decimal, it's two. To count to me in binary, it's gonna be really short. Let's hear it. One. One zero. There are eight different combinations of three digit numbers in binary. This means that binary can easily be coded into octal. There are also 16 different combinations of four digit numbers in binary. This means that binary can easily be coded into hexadecimal too. Let's move on to the next base. This is base 16. Also known as hexadecimal, or hex. If this is base 16, there needs to be 16 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, 1, 0. Now you know your bases. Also, I am a 4x4 four four square. Wow, a big square. Also, there are lots of other bases yet to be explored. Have a go at making your own. It's gonna be so much fun. Alright my friends. I've come to plant some square potatoes. Imagine the chips. Snort. Hey where's the old? Scarecrow gone? So 10? Ready yet? <laughs>